In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find the delivery fees that you collected for the online orders. So again, delivery fee is something that you can um, set up on your backend dashboard um, so you can collect a delivery fee for your online customers. So I'm going to explain to you what that is first. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the backend of the dashboard. So in your dashboard, you'll see something here under Clover orders, settings, delivery areas and fees. And the name you give it is what's going to be reported to Clover. So you can, at the end of the month, end of the day, um, find out how much you collected in delivery charges. Okay. So in this case, I just have a very simple delivery fee, a dollar flat. Yours may be different based on the zones. You may have one for five dollars here, uh, three dollars here, two dollars here. You may have multiple delivery fees because, as you know, you can add delivery zones and you can charge different fee based on how far you're delivering to. Or you can do something like I did, which is a very simple $1 delivery fee, okay? So now the question uh, is, how do I find this delivery fee on my Clover dashboard, okay? So again, the first thing you have to do is you have to choose the correct location. So if you have five locations, click on the drop down arrow and choose the right location. So in this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out with this location and I'm gonna to try to find this. So what I do now is I go to dashboard and you'll see a bunch of buttons here. So there's reporting, orders, transactions, invoice, and it can get overwhelming at first because you're trying to find this thing. Sorry, let me move this up a little bit. You're trying to find this charge here and this uh, all the way back here, right? You're trying to find this. So I'm going to show you how to find that. Okay, so so here's the thing to know. Um, when you go under reporting, um, depending on which version version of the reporting uh, feature you have, you may have the new one or the old one. So um, if you have the old one, then you may have to want to switch to the new one. But you can still find it in the old one. Okay, so if yours says, okay, for example, let's say you're back here. I'm going to just switch to the old one. Okay, here's the old one. Okay. Let's suppose yours is this one here, and as you can see, it looks a little bit different. See, it looks a little bit different, right? This looks a little bit, um, okay? So this one it shows like this. And then if you see this button here, uh, feel free to switch to the new one. I mean, you can do it this way too. It just takes a little bit longer because you have to search for it by by more, by more of a, a search feature, uh, or you may be able to search for it. So try both options uh, so you can find it. So let's first try in this old payment in this old reporting. See if we can find it here. I'm gonna click on um, I'm gonna click on items here. Um, so if you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see items with no category, and then you'll see uh, the fees there. Actually, let me do the last 30 days. Okay. So um, so these are all. So your delivery fee is is not in a category, the one for online, okay, not for in-store. If you're doing in-store delivery, let's suppose you're doing in-store delivery and you made an item called delivery fee and then you're charging, uh, you're doing a phone order, somebody says, I want this delivered to my house, here's my address, and then you just charge them five bucks for it. Uh, that's going to be reported somewhere else. So what we're looking for is this one here, okay? delivery charge this is the word we're looking for if you if you have a different name here search for that name so right I'm gonna go back here again okay uh, so right now I don't see it here um, it could be that uh, it could be older than 30 days let's see if I can do a longer date here I'm gonna do uh, let me go back to let's try let's try June 1st Okay, so this one um, doesn't have it either. Okay, so anyhow, um, if you don't see it here, don't worry. There's a different place you can find it. Okay, I'm gonna just switch to the new one just for you guys to see. I'm gonna click on switch now to back to the new one. And by the time you watch this video, uh, keep in mind it may look different, but overall it pretty much serves the same purpose. It's there to help you find and do your reporting and find data that you need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on orders right here, right here orders, and we're gonna click on um let's try it again somehow it didn't pull up there you go right be, right below orders you should see, you should see something called line items right here okay click on line items okay now um when you click on that you will need to search for it so i'm going to type in delivery and then do a search 
Okay, when I do that, you'll notice that I see some delivery charges here for a buck, right? Again, it, it aligns with this one and it's a buck, okay? So I have two of them in the last 90 days. Of course, my account, I'm not doing delivery here. That's why I don't have that many. Yours may have hundreds or 50 or 200 of them, right? So it'll tell you, it'll say 100, 200, I think, let me see. Yeah, it'll say all these numbers. So you can, let's suppose you choose 100 and you see the whole thing filled up. You just take 100 times by $1. That means you did $100 in delivery fee. Let's say you have 200 pages. I mean, I'm sorry, 200 um, uh, results. Then you just take 200 by a dollar, you get $200. If your delivery fee is $5, you need to take 200 multiplied by $5. I think you get the point. So let's suppose you're, uh, you're looking for a service fee, which is uh, another fee that you can charge on your dashboard. Let me, let me tell you what that is. So you go in your checkout settings, and then you see there's something called uh, service fee, and you can give it whatever name you want. I recently changed the name, but you can call it service fee. Okay, so let's do this one here. So as you can see, I have a bunch of service fees, right? Service charge, service charge, service charge. So I have, um, what, I'm thinking I have about 20 or 30 of them here. So you just simply find all these service charges and then, um, and then uh, the only drawback to this is that it does not total it for you. So what you do is you just have to count it. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So let's just suppose 30. 30 times uh, 5 cents is a buck 50. But then we notice here we have a 26 cent service fee, right? So, uh, so obviously this one is probably done in store and this one is done online, right? Because from what I gather here, uh, 50 cents. Actually, this is an old one, so it, this may not be reporting to this because uh, I changed it recently. So let's just suppose you're doing a service fee online and in store and you have a, and you, ha you wanna search for a specific one, then go here and just search for it. So I can say between, uh, I'm gonna say between five cents and five cents. That way I, I only find the ones I need, okay? Now all those other ones that were 16 cents will go away. Okay, so now I have much less number to look at. So I take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 times five, what is that? You just multiply that and then you um, get your total. Um, somebody did mention to me, you can probably export it to Excel. Um, and then, you know, if you're, if you're good with Excel, that we don't have to add them up like this and then just get the number. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Uh, if you do find a better way and you're able to find a way to, it totals it up for you, uh, let me know. That way I can make a newer video explaining how to do it uh, with that process. But from what I've gathered, uh, this is the only way I've seen. Uh, and the reason why it shows it this way is because the delivery fee we charge is dynamic. It depends on where they're located, um, uh, you know, their zones and all that. So each time you charge a delivery fee, it creates a new item because it's not the same as the last one, right? It's not an item inside your Clover inventory, right? So, um, like this item here let's let's actually take a look let's see if we can find this item in the inventory service charge let's see if it's here it'd be a good good thing to look at yeah see it's not an item right so you can't find it here let's see if i can find the word delivery yeah this one's not here either right so you can see it's clearly not an item uh, it's a custom item, which means that it changes based on each order. So that's why you see multiple of it, okay? But anyhow, uh, maybe the dashboard one day will be able to add it up for you. Uh, so when you watch this video in a future date and, uh, and you're doing exactly what I'm doing here, right? You're going here and then you're typing service fee. And then, and then, and I do between five cents and five cents. And then you're noticing it that it gives you the grand total gives you the last 30 days and you notice it gives you the grand total at the bottom so that means uh there's update done by clover and you are now getting the the grand total okay but as of right now from this video uh you just have to add it up yourselves and then you get the total uh or the other option somebody mentioned was to export it to excel and then you can get the total so the, again uh, just to recap the video the point of the video was to f uh, to help you find where the delivery fees are located and how you can get the add up the numbers and how you can utilize that information to see how much uh, you're getting 
uh, in delivery fees from your customers. All right. Thank you so much. Um, look forward to you in the next video.